Hey guys, the trails have reopened here in Los Angeles. So I am out doing a hike I've been wanting to do for ages, which is called the Bridge to Nowhere. This hike is about 10 miles and it takes us to a bridge that goes nowhere. <laughs> so it should be a fun hike. It's actually a beautiful day today. It's so pretty. There's a reason why people tell you to leave no trace when you come out into the wilderness and it's a really important practice. Obviously we can see here in the national forest that people have not been leaving no trace. There is literally overflowing trash cans everywhere in this area. Because the National Forest Service is furloughed right now, there is no one here to pick up your trash. So if you're gonna come out into the wilderness, it's really important that you take out whatever you bring in to the forest with you because these overflowing trash cans are including squirrels, bear, coyote, and what other other animals are in this area. And it's really gonna be detrimental to the health of the forest here and the animals. So one of the exciting things about this trail is that there's actually a ton of river crossings, which can be kind of dangerous depending on the time of the year. Right now the water's not too high, so this is gonna be our first river crossing. The reflection's really pretty right here. Oh, this is where they want you to cross? What not to do? Carve your name in a tree. actually more than halfway to the bridge and it's around 9 30 on a Monday I'm actually surprised there are quite a few people on the trail today but like us everyone wants to get outside and be in nature right now since they're stuck at home so right here you can either choose to go across the river or you can choose to go across this and depending on your <laughs> level of rock scrambling, um, you're gonna have to make a decision here. We decided to go this way. Some other people have decided to go that way. Choose your own adventure. <laughs> One of the things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind on this trail is that you often end up off the trail. There's a lot of areas 
like this one where you kind of end up along a cliff side, if you are not wanting to face that much danger, it is better to stay closer to the river and go along the riverbank. Um, also, make sure you check all trails. If you are using all trails, I highly recommend it because it is very easy to get off the trail here. We are gonna go down this kind of rocky area right here where there are some safety ropes. So just keep that in mind when you're hiking this trail. As you guys can see here, this really big, strong tree oh, wait. is holding on the rope. Bush. <laughs> oh, I'm like, did that just break? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna need both hands for this one. Belling. <laughs> End of the line. At three miles, if you're really tired, there is a bus stop here and also a Bigfoot crossing. So if you need a ride, this is where you stop. <laughs> If you're gonna do this hike, there are several things that you're going to want in your backpack and on your person. You're definitely gonna want some sort of shoe that is either waterproof or drains water quickly or a change of shoes. Definitely a change of socks as well in case it gets cold or too hot. You don't want wet feet when hiking. And you're gonna to wanna to bring enough water. I have about three liters in my Camelback here. Um, this trail, especially during the summer months, gets really hot. There's a lot of exposed parts of the trail, so you're gonna to wanna to have enough water. You're also gonna want a first aid kit. As you guys saw, there are a lot of areas where you have to traverse little cliffs and rock places, and it would be really easy to slip and fall and hurt yourself. So there's also all of these bushes, which are really sharp, and they can actually cut you really easily if you're wearing shorts. So having a good first aid kit is definitely key. And of course, snacks. I would also bring um, a dry wicking shirt that can get wet and dry really quickly. So those are some of the essentials. As always, you guys know what else I usually keep in my backpack. And if you don't, you can check out my What's in My Backpack video also here on YouTube. The Tunnel of Death. Just about to the bridge. We've gone 4.8 miles now. It's a nice breeze. Feels wonderful. So as you guys can see, this bridge is actually not part of the national forest. It's actually private property. So you have to abide by all these rules. You can cross over the bridge, but nothing else. Alright, we made it. The bridge that literally goes nowhere. <laughs> so the story of this bridge is that it was actually built in the 1930s to connect Wright Wood with Azusa. But unfortunately the bridge was washed away or the road was washed away by the river that we crossed many times and it was never finished. So 
now. It just sits here and they actually use it for bungee jumping on weekends from time to time. Right, guys I am back at the car we did a total of 10 miles just over four and a half hours to get out to the bridge and back with a stop for a snack obviously we did about three river crossings in each direction and I will say I really liked this hike it's not very up and down we did about a thousand feet of elevation um, throughout the entire hike so really enjoyable and I think this is a really good time to do it because it's not too hot yet I will say next time I come, I will definitely be bringing a trash bag though because we did see a lot of trash along the trail and that's really unfortunate. So make sure if you are hiking, you leave no trace. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a question or a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys out on the trail very soon.